Hello, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. As we know, it's Christmas, basically. It's basically Christmas day in my head. And as we know, I love Poundland, so it's time to go and look at Christmas Poundland stuff. I was just on the phone to my mom. I was like, I'm off to Poundland. Uh, I'm going into Poundland. And she was like, have fun. I was like, I will, because I've not looked at their Christmas goodies. I have a specific list today of stuff that I want to get. Um, on my phone, so I'm looking at gift bags, I'm looking at cards for Ethan's class, I'm looking at um, st some stocking fillers, so just bits and bobs like that really, but I'm going to show you all the good Christmassy stuff, and then I will do a little haul for you, um, really, I'm absolutely thrilled, <laughs> then I need to do the same at home bargains, so I need to go to both, um, yeah, can't wait, so I've got my tote, I've got my list, and I'm going to have a little uh, mooch around and um, grab some bits and bobs. Ethan could probably do with a new Christmas jumper and there's a, there is a Pep & Co in this one. Um, this is the old Rupan Land, which is my favourite. I drive here, it's huge. It's got a Pep & Co, it's beautiful. Right, let's go and get some Christmas festive goodies. Buckle in, this is going to be a long voiceover because they had so much stuff in Poundland. They had loads of lovely sweets. These are perfect for stocking fillers. Two for two pound or one pound at 25 each, which has definitely gone up. They had advent calendars. These ranged from like two pound to five pound. I don't think there was any for a pound. And I noticed the little selection buttons things had gone up to two pound. Cakes, I love cakes. There was Jaffa cakes and all sorts of nice Kipling cakes. These are one pound 75 and I'm sure these were a pound before. I'm gonna try these frosty fancies. They look absolutely delicious. And then they had some great gifts in. I will say some of these gifts, if you look at the Nivea set and the, uh, what is it called? Mm, da -da 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 -da. The stuff men spray, Lynx, that's it. <laughs> the Lynx sets, you can probably get those for three for two in boots. Great little stocking filler ideas. So you could get some little bobbles. They had quite a few nice bits and bobs for a pound. So I picked up some of these for my girls stocking. They also had some nice ones for little toddlers as well. The LOL surprise range was super cute. And then I popped over to this range, which seemed to be ex people from The Only Way is Essex. But they had like nails for one pound or one pound 50. They had little brushes, and I actually think the packaging looks a lot more expensive than it is. So again, this would be perfect for tweens. Pep and Co had some great Christmas jumpers in. From eight pound, they had matching ones. Oh, sorry, is that eight pound and ten euros? Yeah, they have matching Christmas jumpers, which were really, really cute and super festive. And oh my gosh, this little tartan dress. <laughs> it makes me want to have a child just to put them in a tartan dress. And little elf dresses, which are really cute for nursery. Loved this Santa Spider-Man. I've never seen anything like this before. And my boy would adore this camo um, reindeer jumper. I love this shirt and I'm a little bit cross because I bought something similar for Ethan from um, H&M and I think it was a little bit more expensive and they had some fab Disney pyjamas as too. And speaking of Disney, they had like a whole Disney princess range which was just next to the elf on the shelf. So if you're doing the elf on the shelf, they've got loads of stuff there. But they had baubles, they had stockings, they had candles. All sorts of bits and like loads of princesses were represented. So loving that for Poundland. Now, you know I've got my tiny village. You could have your own tiny village from Poundland. They had little houses and also little things you could use to accompany your own tiny villages. And I loved the gingerbread house candle holder and these were only a pound. These little decorations remind me of my nanny wet urn who is sadly no longer with us, but she definitely, definitely would have had a tinsel stocking up and they have their window stickers. There was just so many decorations in this particular pound land. It was great. Twinkly lights were still a pound, so that was brilliant. These are great if you have Christmas trees in the kids' rooms or perhaps you just want to put some in some vases and just decorate some of your plants. And also they had a few more that were a little bit more expensive. Loads of tableware. Again, these weren't really a pound. Loved the Christmas pudding mug. I did not get it, but I loved it. 
for £2 and I had some really decent and also that mug there with the lid on that was £3 that was gorgeous and so was this like biscuit thing but that was £5 then I went over to kind of like the cheaper range of stuff and I got myself this tablecloth which would be great because Christmas does get a little bit messy and we do have a few kind of little family parties so that's perfect to have as a little tablecloth or if you want to do some Christmas crafts. Love the naughty and nice glasses. They have loads of decorations and if you watch my last garden one where I showed like the blue Christmas tree they have blue decorations here and of course they had all sorts of gnomies and gnomes. And these are really cute. I love the fairies and the little skirts. And this pink gnome was very similar to the one in the garden. So look at the, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. They had gorgeous, like, kind of like a Parisian range of Christmas trees. How Cinderella is that carriage? So these baubles were absolutely gorgeous. And they also had a silver and gold section with disco balls and stars and all sorts of fun things. We're going to do a Disney tree this year. So we don't need any more decorations because we've got a lot already. But they had a lot in store. Pop to the gift bags, which is one of the things I had on my lists. And it was two gift bags for a pound or you could get the bigger ones for just a pound. And another option is you could put them in the stockings. So you might want to put a bottle of wine in the little stockings. And if you have various kids, these stickers are great. My mum always uses these to write kids' names on. So if you've got more than one child you're giving presents to in the house, you can shove a sticker on so they don't all get mixed up. Yeah, I thought these were great for maybe Secret Santas or popping a little bottle of wine in. They had cards. Um, I didn't actually look too much and some of those looked quite good. I was really looking for the class card set, which is what I grabbed, which is where you get 30 cards for a pound. And then they had some more other great stocking fillers and great tween presents. Again, I think the package is really, really excellent. There was a bronzer set. I picked up this, and I think this nail set is absolutely perfect. Around the corner in the stationery bit, they had loads of Crayola bits and bobs. Like, you can make your own gnomes. You can make your own jigsaws. I grabbed this little Christmas garland set, which I thought would be really fun to colour in on Christmas Day. And also picked up a little set each for my boy and girl. Um, they still would love a little bit of crafts. They like doing it's just something to do, isn't it? While the adults are all talking about boring things and talking of adults. These crafts were great. And I was very tempted to embroider a gonk or a gnome, as I call it. They had loads in the craft section for £2.50. Also, they had like a make your own wreath section and a make your own, it was almost like a goldfish bowl. I don't know how to describe it, but you could put all different decorations in and have it as like, look, you can make your own ball balls. I thought, what a fun idea and make your own like centerpiece. Loved those. In fact, I might actually go back and have another look at those. And then went to the cleaning products and they had their classic cleaning stuff with strange winter scents winter warmth surf um and what's winter wolf comfort as well so yeah just a bit of fun and i had to grab a festive febreze which i do sniff in the hall section but yeah panland well done an amazing array of beautiful festive goods hey i'm back i was gonna film in the car but it's such delightful weather the car was so bright so i'm back at home, I've got my headbands on. I'm going to show you all the bits and the bobs and just the little treats. Um, I think I got everything off my list, plus another things that I didn't realize I wanted that should have been on my list. So, should they permit they should have been on my list? Okay, first thing I got, I got a variety of stocking filler sweets. I always get these for the kiddos and Stephen. And I got all just different types of one. They're usually a pound, but this year they're one pound twenty-five each, or they're two for a pound. No, two for two pounds. So they're just encouraging people to get two. Um, I will say a lot of the stuff in Poundland that used to be a pound has gone up, and it is selling a lot of stuff that isn't a pound. Uh, cost of living, I don't know, but still stuff that some stuff that's a pound. 
two for a pound. So I've got some fruit pastels, I've got some different types of Smarties, I've got some white chocolate Smarties for my boy, because he loves white chocolate. Uh, so that's exciting, these are pink ones to so go. Chocolate buns, they just kind of go in the stocking, they're just really nice little, just part of Christmas, isn't it? And you wake up on Christmas morning, you're like, what are you gonna have for your breakfast? Well, I'm gonna have a sausage sandwich and half a box of Smarties. <laughs> so I've got those. Uh, I also got, this wasn't on my list, did I need it? No, but I saw it and I thought, yes. Febreze Air Mist Orange and Cinnamon Limited Edition. Shall we try it now? Oh, it's like, um, then cinnamon sticks you have hanging down. Oh, lovely. Uh, that was three pounds. Oh, blimey. Also, I went round and got a few different bits, stocking filler bits and bobs that I thought were really cute. Um, I thought this was great for a pound. Um, and I think it looks really nice. And this might be, you know, if you're going to be doing teacher's presents and stuff, maybe you could put this in with it. I just thought that was cute for a pound. Nice and sparkly. And I know my girl will love it. And I got this. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is. It's a pound. And it's called Lucky Bob. 60 Lucky Bobs. What does it mean? What does it mean? I don't know. Oh, my hair's getting all trapped in my pearls. Um, unsure, <laughs> but it's going in a stocking. So that was good. My boy does, uh, I don't know what happens in secondary school. Do they do Christmas cards? Unsure. Or do they just write them for like a certain amount of friends? Let me know in the comments. But my boy will do a class list of cards. I always get the names, the first names, write them all down. And then we like to sellotape, sellotape a little chocolate to the front. Do you know what? That's a great project. That is a get in, put Elf on, sit down. Two hours that I'm taking, writing all these little messages, sticking these on the front. So I've got three bags of these. These are a pound each. Chocolate Santas, they had chocolate coins, and they had chocolate. Money, money, money. Ah, money, money. Ah. Okay, the thing that I definitely did go in for was gift bags. And they have two for a pound, or big ones for a pound, or two wine ones for a pound. I opted for this pattern. I thought it was very pretty and I can't quite remember my wrapping paper. I feel like it's like I bought it in that you know me, I buy it in the sales, don't I like a year ago and then I'm, I can't remember what it is. I think it's like galaxy, I think. So a star and I also think if I don't use all these, I can use these for other party bags. And then for Ethan's teachers, I just got Christmassy ones. Christmassy <laughs> ones. Christmassy ones. Christmas time. Then, I'm going to bring this bag over. Pull bits out and show you. I've got these for Stephen. Uh, I think I just got the one bag. He loves he loves a festive Haribo. He loves any Haribo. They look like they're going to be like Percy Peaks. And they were, I think they were in the two for pound as well. I got these are the cards that I have for Ethan. Just a pack of 30. And your teacher. I usually probably just get a probably give the teacher like a bigger card and these little cards. And I uh, know if you are a parent, and I'm a parent, and they annoy me, these tiny cards are annoying because you put them up, one gust of wind, they all fly off. <laughs> but that's what sorry, that's what they get in. These used to be a pound and they're not a pound anymore. I think they were £1.75. I love a festive bagel. If you follow me on Instagram, you all know. Love, love, love me a festive bagel. I thought, I'm going to try a Frosty Fancy. As I'm going to my friend Jocelyn's house Is it next week. I might save these for her house, Jocelyn. What a treat. What a treat you've got. Um, another couple of stocking fillers that I thought were really cute. This is a pound, and this would make a phenomenal. We should have got some more because he has got a party coming up. This would make a phenomenal treat in a party bag, or just instead of a party bag. That was a pound. I don't know what you get, like an animal or maybe a collar in, I think. But that was another great little stocking filler. You can never have too many bubbles. That was a pound. I do specify what's a pound and what's not a pound anymore because. Um, some things in there are not a pound. All these crafts put a pound. And I thought these would be good 
maybe on Christmas Day, around the Christmas table, or just when the adults are chatting and stuff, I thought I could put these for my kids to do. So that is for my boy. I think he'll really like doing that. Stick puppets, make two characters. And yeah, Crayola is, is tended to be really for toddlers and stuff. But I did think that looked quite good. And obviously, he's not a toddler, so I can just give him that. And he can do it without my help. Erin is a much bigger girl, but she likes kind of crafty stuff. And this is Make Your Own Wind Chime. And I thought... Just for like half hour they can do that and also I thought these are quite fun. These are colour your own Christmas garlands with all like gnomes and stuff on. I thought they were really, really fun. And there are nine in there so we can all have a colour colour those in while we're having our Christmas dinner or, you know, we have a Christmas Eve dinner, don't we? These were two for pounds. I love marshmallows. Um, I love hot chocolate stations. And these are Elf on the Shelf vanilla flavour marshmallows. So they will look great in the little vase um, that I put my marshmallows in. I thought that would be really, really nice. Uh, and then we're kind of hitting, I think the rest of the stuff is my girl's birthday's in December. So I just picked up some bits for her. So I've got some marble balloons. I thought they were quite good for tweeny. They're kind of like tie dye. What do we think? Rather than just the plain ones, but they were great. Stephen is a man obsessed with Milka. When we went on holiday to uh, Lanzarote, <laughs> they gave us a little bit of chocolate every night before bed. It was really nice. It just knocked on the door, and you were like, okay. And it was Milka, and he was like, you can't ever even get this in England. And I was like, you can. It's in Boundland, there's loads of it. So I picked him up a couple of those, a caramello one, which he's not had before, and then a plain one. He will eat that like a little snack. It's four portions. Not if he's Stephen. That's just one portion for Mr. Stephen. I also picked up a few candles for, this one's fallen off, fell out the bag, but never mind. Just a couple of candles. They do have number candles, but it kind of is. Don't judge me, please. These don't match, but but oh, actually, it looks even worse up close. <laughs> Hang on, why? I can't tell if it's back to front. Maybe when I'm editing, it won't be back to front. It's a twelve, but the one's quite little. I don't think you notice. And then I thought this is really nice, like a rose gold set. Uh, candles show I thought that would be really good and I did pick her up I'm not sure where it's gone a really cute oh here we go I thought this is lovely that's really nice isn't it a cute it's my birthday rosette I've got like a lot of pastel kind of because we always decorate back here so I've got some like pastel um, banners and stuff so I thought that would go very nicely with it there we go guys i think i got all the stuff i wanted to get there was thing um on my list was christmas socks uh i'm gonna go to home bargains i'll probably get those from there so um i will definitely take you to home bargains but there we go poundland has got some great stuff in and um, just don't expect it all to be a pound that's what i would say i love you lots and i will see you in another few days for another video and make sure you take care of yourself have a wonderful weekend and yeah 